So what I was able to buy is a 2018 Rubicon used that had 22,000 miles on it. And I basically got it for a $16,000 discount for what the person that bought it originally paid for it, which I thought it was an absolutely steal, great deal uh, for a Rubicon JL. The white wasn't my number one color um, choice but I just couldn't pass up the deal. So I've watched every single video there is about Jeeps and you know every YouTube channel and um, they had three requirements for buying a Jeep. And I probably should have cleaned before I did this video, huh? And voila, all right, I cleaned it up a little bit. I had to take the kids' shoes and backpacks and all that stuff out of the car. Um, so anyway, so as far as the model goes for the Jeep, um, you know, just looking at all the videos and the capabilities and whatnot, and I was like, hey, if I'm gonna buy my dream Jeep, uh, might as well get the top of the line Rubicon. Um, better to have it, not need it, and then need it, not have it down the road. So that's kind of my philosophy. And the Rubicons are the only models that I was looking for for the last year and a half. Um, so with that being said, the I wasn't, you know, I don't lease or uh, take out loans for any of my cars. So I had to pay cash for it. And I wasn't going to go spend 60000 plus for a Rubicon with the options that I wanted. Um, after taxes here in Colorado and registration fees and whatnot. So it took me a year and a half of waiting after the JL came out. And every day looking on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and you know whatever site car gurus and all that stuff. And I literally looked every single day. So this came to be about uh, two weeks ago. I found on one of the car dealerships up in Highlands Ranch here, and it was just a great deal. Um, so I got this car for forty-one thousand five hundred at twenty-two thousand miles, and the lady that drove this pa that drove this previously, um, I mean, she paid fifty-seven thousand dollars for it. So really, I thought it was a great savings. You know, fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars savings within after a year so I couldn't pass up the deal uh, the color wasn't my first choice I really wanted the gunmetal gray um, but you know if you're gonna buy a used car you can't be too picky so the reason this car was too good of a deal to pass was because I had three requirements as far as a Rubicon as far as the options that I wanted to have number one was leather seats because I have three little kids and they are messy and I just figure it's a lot easier to clean leather seats than cloth seats. Um, the second option that I really wanted to have was um, the tow package because none of the other cars that we have, um, I have four cars and none of them have a tow package or a hitch. So the Jeep, I wanted to have a hitch. And the third one was um, I wanted to have the bigger screen. Um, it just looks nicer and you know. It really makes the front of Jeep, you know, stand out. So, so with those three being the requirements, you know, I was digging everywhere. Some cars were modified, some cars were not. And this has not been modified whatsoever. It's exactly as it was as it came out of the factory. The options that it had was the LED lights, the steel bumper group, the upgraded rims, which really I'm going to be replacing soon so I really don't care about that I wish it didn't have that and had you know something else instead but um, it also has the proximity sensor option it has the auxiliary group because it has a tow package it has the bigger screen it has the heated seats so it basically has every option other than you know the hot heads and the painted top and the fenders and getting at 41,500 after after um, taxes and dealer fees it came out to 48,000 
and I still have to go register it, so that's gonna register it, so that's gonna be another thirteen hundred dollars or so. So I think we're gonna about forty nine three for a used Rubicon, um, which you know it's a lot of money, especially paying cash. But for a Rubicon, it just made sense. So yeah, so I'm gonna start modifying it soon. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, but you know, let's start it. So I just want to do this video as uh, you know, as how I got it, and uh, I'll do some follow-up videos I, as I install stuff and do some how-to review, you know, videos and reviews and whatnot. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys around.